No, that just doesn't even make sense at all. And the Flintermite has lifelink, but we have nothing to really go with it. I don't know. I guess we can, uh... The Vault Scourge plus a Fumes Fader plus a Gut Shot. I'm not sure what we could have done. I mean... Do we still want to play first? I think we do. Yeah. We have to draw two lands. We still have the Gut Shot to buy us some time if he plays an early aggressive start. Because his creatures weren't particularly aggressive. They were just big. So I think that this will still be fine. possible I should have chosen to draw first both times because my deck is a little slower and I need the lands. But even then, if you think you're slower, you still kind of want to be on the play to make sure your opponent can't get out faster than you can deal with them. But I guess with Gutshot and Fumes Fitter, I have plenty of ways to deal with early aggressive starts. So, like I said before, I'm not particularly worried about grasping something and I'd rather be able to Gutshot paying the two, or paying the mana. Up two mana sources. Ooh, spine. spine was the worst draw we could have had. So now we actually have to go mana source, mana source. Oh, we, we actually have to go uh, mana source land. Be the ideal. And there's a land. So we just need one more, and I think we're golden. We're of course going to lead with draw stripper this time. That's fine. And land. Ooh, we are good at this game. So I think we lead with Tross Ripper. <coughs> and I think we just save this Faramancer for a little while. Because nothing he has out particularly worries me yet. I also don't think we should snap into the core. Because he, we know he has the Golem Artisan. So we should probably save that one. Serum Raker. That one I will definitely Parasitic Implant though. Yeah, we'll Parasitic Implant that. I think we want to discard Gutshot. Because he didn't appear to have many X1s. He just had the... Uh, he just had the uh, mirror tokens that we saw. So like mirror tokens, pith driller, tumble magnet. Yeah. So I think we should discard gut shot. And we take our three. Hopefully he just plays a uh, golem artisan right here. Yeah, I'd still probably let him uh, sink some mana into that. Interesting. Okay. It's unfortunate, so I think we're just going to drop our Pharamancer next turn. Yeah. Still not attacking, because I'm pretty sure we're not the aggressor in this matchup. I mean, he's obviously going to have the pet Driller, and that will suck. If he doesn't have pet Driller, I don't think we're in a good spot. existence. It's unfortunate. Not pit driller. And he didn't have pit driller. Good. Oh, this is just uh, slow rolling us. Which is possible. Oh, he has Pit Driller. Oh, Spine Thopter. Interesting. Jesus Christ. So, uh, I think we're gonna... 
Man. Well, that was good. Let's just do everything we want. So what we want to do is wait for him to attack. So we're going to kill the Serum Raker, uh, pitching Crush into the core of these two. And it does leave us sort of weak to the, uh, to the big guy. Alright, so into the core. Get that, then I think we gut shot it. It's net to zero damage, but the next turn if we draw land we can just spine the sky hunter. If we wait a turn, we can just pyromancer it. No, I think we do this now. So we're gonna go down to eight. See if the last card in his hand was. I don't know if the last card in his hand was. Um, somehow I don't want to play this fallen pheromones, or I don't want to. I I want to just hit the uh, sky hunter. Who is it? Spire monitor. Stark seal sentinel. White sun zenith. Shit. Well, ooh, maybe we should have killed it in his draw step. This is a bad place to be. So I think we block here, shoot the Sky Hunter. Go down to four. And we have to rip the uh, ice finale. So what does this do? Nope. Nope. Man. Well, in case you were wondering what I was thinking, so we play Nested Ghoul. Attacks us with everything. We take one, two, three, four. Spine something does the exact same thing. Uh. Well, that is that. Let's just think Shaman would have uh, gotten us out of that situation. And by gotten us out, I mean I think we're still dead with the Xaxes. Yep. So, well, that was, uh... I don't think the deck ended up that badly. I feel like, um... Probably misplayed in the first game. It's probable that we just shouldn't have run out our Pharomancer. In this game... Uh... I don't know. I'll look back at it. I'm sure you people will tell me what I did wrong as well. Uh, I feel like a, a major problem came in that we uh, we just had... I don't even know. The, de the deck, uh, I guess the deck could have used more early defense, but I don't necessarily think that the Spike Shot Elder would have helped us in any of these games. Because the Pharomancer did effectively the same thing, and we just finally got up to the point where we could double Spike Shot, and that would take up our whole turn. So I... Uh, I think the Grasp of Darkness was probably better for us in these games, because it immediately killed that Golem Artisan and gave us the chance to try outs, but anyway, that's that.